Hi folks, I'm Guy Eastman, and today we're going to do a little tutorial here on how to score a trophy mule deer. First thing we're going to do, we're going to tap into our Boone and Crockett score kit here. It's a really cool kit. It's got everything you need in it. It's uh, packable, so you can take it in your luggage or whatever. In here we have a binder with all the score sheets and a pen and, and a calculator, and the score sheets show you, uh, kind of walk you through, and you just kind of fill in the blanks. We'll get more to that later. We have a knife, uh, some rubber gloves, scoring cable for doing the main beams if you really want to get uh, particular and of course the uh, official Boone and Crockett tape measure. So what we're going to do is we're going to score one antler then the other. Each antler has nine scorable uh, entries so there's nine scores on each antler plus an inside spread so that'll give us a total of 19 scores. The first score we're going to do is the inside spread. Now keep in mind, the inside spread is inside the main beams. It's not outside spread. Outside spread does not count in the Boone and Crockett score of any deer or elk. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure first the inside spread into the main beams. These are the main beams that come around right here. So we're going to calculate or measure the greatest spread inside the main beams. The easiest way to do that is to put the buck down like that. We're going to Take our tape measure, and we're going to put it inside the main beams just like this. Find our greatest spread. Of course, this buck is not real wide, so he's right at 18 inches inside. So when you, you score everything in Boone and Crockett, they do it by eight. We're going to write down spread credit. He is 18 and 0 eighths inches. The second score we're going to do is we're going to measure all this. The all the measurements on one uh, antler, then we're going to switch and do the other antler. So we're going to do left antler here first, and the first measurement on the antler is going to be the main beam. Now, the main beam consists of the outside measurement on the outside of the horn, all the way up, along the outside, and out to the tip. This is the main beam. So we're going to set our tape here at the burr at zero inches, and we're just going to kind of trace the line and follow the veins of the antler up the outside of the main beam as best we can. Now if you were doing it officially, we would use a, a cable for this, but this is right at 21 inches. So he has a 21 inch main beam, 21 and 0 eighths on the left antler. The second measurement is gonna be the G1. Now the way these are measured on bucks is G1 through four. This is the G1, your eye guards are G1, this is the G2, this back point, the G3, the G4. So one, two, three, four. It goes from the back and works forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do first off, we're gonna do the G1, which is the eye guard on this buck. The line we want to start with is if you were to saw the point off. So we find where that point connects to the main beams right here. So we're gonna take our tape, put the zero there, we're gonna measure right up. The eye guard and that is two inches so it's two zero eight inches on the g1 on the left side now we're going to do the g2 now the g2 is this entire length from the main beam clear to the tip now the g3 you don't measure this twice you measure the g3 just from here to here but the g2 goes from clear from the bottom all the way to the top where some guys make a mistake. They'll measure this distance twice, and you only measure it once. So again, we act like we're just gonna saw it off, find where that intersects, and we'll trace it up the outside of the point. Right along the top here, that is 18 and a quarter. Now the G3 is this point right here. So again, we're gonna take this, Figure out where we would saw that point off. And trace up the outside of the point, giving us 13 inches. Now we're going to do the G4, which is this front point here, 10 and a half. So G4 goes from right here all the way up to here, 10 and a half inches, so we're 10 and 4 eighths. Okay, now we're going to do H1. Now H1 is a circumference. We're going to take four circumferences, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So the first one is between the burr and the eye guard, and it's the smallest circumference between the burr and the eye guard. Now, if you didn't have an eye guard, you just measure halfway, just the halfway between this back point and the burr to take it.
six inches. Now H2 is right here between the eye guard and where the G2 branches off. So again, smallest point, about five and three quarters. Now H3 is gonna be this back one right here between this, where this point branches and the main beam. I'm gonna measure H3. five inches. And H4 is this one right here between this point and the main beam. Again, if you didn't have a front point, you just measure that, split it in half and measure the circumference at that point. Not a problem on this buck. I'm looking right at five inches again. So he's got five and zero eighths on the H4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip to the other side. Other side of the rack here. We're going to measure up the same measurements. Okay, basically now we have all our measurements, right antler, left antler, and inside spread. We're going to sum the right antler, then sum the left antler. We're going to total and add up the total of all the right antler, plus the left antler, plus the inside spread, and that's going to give us the gross score. We have a gross final score of 189.68, basically 190. So this buck is right at 190 inches gross in the velvet. Just a beautiful, beautiful buck, right at 190. They don't come much bigger than that. It's a huge buck, and I'm real happy with him. And we're gonna now we're gonna cure the velvet and get that curing so we can uh, get him mounted with the velvet on it and take good care of it. So he's all caped out and ready to have the velvet cured.